What happens to real estate in a small town when a big resort is built? We're gonna find out. Yo, I'm Adrian, longtime Florida realtor, and I'm here to help you get your Florida life. If you haven't heard about Sunseeker, you're probably coming from out of town. Sunseeker is the biggest thing to happen to Port Charlotte or Punta Gorda in a long time, maybe ever. In this video, I'm gonna give you the five changes I predict to see in local real estate after Sunseeker opens. I will give you a little spoiler. Number five is the one I'm most excited about. But first, let's talk about what is Sunseeker. Sunseeker is a large resort set to open in fall of 2023. It's got about 800 rooms. They've bought a golf course to offer golf weekends. They have multiple dining rooms. It's gonna be a big change to this small town. And you have a big change to a small town, it tends to be somewhat controversial if you've never lived in a small town. I'm not gonna get into all the rumors and controversies, but some will come up in this video as they affect real estate. Before I get into the five changes though, I really wanna set a benchmark for where we're coming from, from for those who haven't been here that long or haven't been here at all. I do this because over the past few years as Sunseeker has been being built, a lot of buyers ask me what it is and what was there before. After all, maybe there was an older resort there before, it's a waterfront. It seems like there would have been something, you know, maybe not quite as big, but something there before. So this wouldn't be that big of a change, but it is. Before Sunseeker, there were a bunch of small motels there and a mini golf course that I played on as a child. Some people may get a little mad at me for saying this, but I was glad when they tore all of that down. Even the mini golf course, I have fond memories of playing on it as a child. However, it was done, it was old. It, it either needed to be completely renovated, which I don't think was ever gonna happen, or need to be torn down. To give you an idea of the motels there, an old friend of mine used to own one 20 years or so ago. She didn't manage it, but she has some interesting stories from that place. Most I'm not going to repeat, but one that I like is that once a small circus came to town and they let a miniature horse stay in one of the rooms, the manager called her up and said, we don't need to have the lawn cut. The miniature horse is cutting the lawn for the next couple of weeks. So Sunseeker is a big change and many are afraid it will make our small town too busy. I've even had people say to me that they think people won't want to move here because it will be so crowded and the allure of the place that they move to will be gone. And with that thought, let's get into the five changes I expect to see in real estate after Sunseeker opens. Number one, buyers won't come here looking for the same small town you did. Everybody here has a different perspective of how small this area once was. My family moved here in 1981 and my mom also sold real estate. She tells stories of telling customers they had to drive to Fort Myers to go out to dinner because there was nothing here. It's, they had to go 30 minutes away. If you moved here in 2000, you might remember that before the village brew house was in Fisherman's Village, it was the center court. It was basically a big open space with a wishing well where they would advertise live music on Wednesday afternoons and the live music would be an accordion player. At the same time, let's remember one resort is not gonna turn us into Miami. Yes, it's likely to bring more growth, but we're probably gonna get buyers looking more for that small city feel instead of the small town. And I know some locals hate that idea, but from a real estate perspective that typically attracts more buyers. Number two, it's gonna help Port Charlotte real estate. I have listened to hundreds of people decide between Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte. They both have pros and cons, but in recent years, Punta Gorda's downtown has tipped the scales for many people. They like that it has a center. They can go quickly from restaurant to restaurant. They can walk around. Port Charlotte never had that weight. It never had that anchor. It also has no great waterfront restaurants, which is kind of strange in Florida. Anytime I hear something that I've heard for many years as a negative for buyers that is being fixed, I think that's gonna help real estate values because we're going to have more demand for that area. 
Number three, business begets business. You may have heard this expression before, and already Whiskey Joe's has announced that they're coming in on the other side of the bridge. In a way, this is what many locals fear, that we are steps away from becoming too big. However, if you live in Harbor Heights, the subdivision right around there, I would have hopes that it will increase demand in that area. In fact, I have had customers come down here and they go to Fisherman's Village one time and they decide to move down here. I even had a customer once who rode his bike in his motorcycle with his cousin to Shorty's, which is a dive bar in downtown Punta Gorda. He fell in love, bought a house, has been here for years. So Whiskey Joe's is likely to do the same. Number four, we will continue to become more of a destination than a best kept secret forever we made the best kept secret lists always years ago so many of my customers would tell me they were looking in sarasota and they were looking in cape coral and they just happened upon us in the last couple of years that's changed a lot of that change is because allegiant air has come to town and made us a destination allegiant owned sunseeker in fact, if you look back on Florida history, many of our towns were built when the railroad companies built beautiful hotels to attract passengers. Allegiant is just taking a page from 100 or so years ago. Number five, and the one I'm most excited about, is all the excitement about this area that I think will come. Look, I know there is a lot of worry about traffic and affordable housing and staffing, and I am a resident here. I worry about it too. Um, and I do expect some growing pains, but I have watched the area go through so many growing pains and so many ups and downs, and we have problems and then we fix them. And as somebody who came here as a small child, there's a part of me at this point that feels like the area has grown up with me so maybe i have a different perspective in that sense however it is exciting to see people get excited about the area it is one of my favorite parts of my job for years people have come down here and been like oh my gosh you live in paradise and i truly believe we will just see more and more people get excited about the area yes we will have things to fix along the way but we will fix them we always have so it should be a very exciting thing long term it certainly should help some of the areas that needed a boost is my five they are simply predictions i am not a psychic but i probably could do 40 i will spare you that for now I do send out monthly market updates. If you're interested in getting them, you can sign up in the link below. You can also subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week.